Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to stay local today here in Detroit, and we're going to talk about Black Mafia family and one of the um, post-Operation Motor City Mafia bust murders. Um, for, a, 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 for a primarily nonviolent group, Black Mafia family, which became the biggest domestic uh, urban drug organization in American history started in Detroit in 1990 and then expanded um, around the rest of the country throughout the 90s and early 2000s. Operation Motor City Mafia took them down in 05. Um, about 200 members of the organization and it confiscated 250 million dollars from bank accounts. Uh, so this was a you know, this was a big business. Uh, Demetrius Flannery, Big Meech. His brother, Southwest T, you see a picture of Southwest T there. Um, you know, the, the Flannery brothers are the, the godfathers of Black Mafia family. And you had this group of guys that started with them um, in the downriver area of Detroit, uh, Southwest Detroit, River Rouge, E-Course, um, Taylor, Inkster, uh, these kind of... Uh, factory towns that attracted a, a lot of people coming from down south in the 50s and 60s, 40s, 50s and 60s, probably even before that, actually. Uh, and they had some guys that they started this whole thing with and it eventually became, like I said, a, a, a transcontinental operation. And um, but it started local. And Christopher Pig Triplet was one of the OG BMFs, very close with Terry and Demetrius, came up with them. He was one of their transportation lieutenants, uh, crisscrossing the country with uh, kilos of, of Coke and you know, SUVs, limousines and whatnot, and was in charge of a lot of the couriers. Uh, and he was one of at least four murders that have occurred since the bust. And it's interesting, like I said, because this wasn't a, a violent group. Um, and most of these murders that have occurred afterwards, if not all of them, really had nothing to do with the drug dealing business or BMF activity. But they were people that had been BMF uh, that were either killed or were alleged killers. So Christopher Pig Triplet, again, OG BMF, uh, was killed in July of 2020. Um, he uh, was was shot behind the wheel of his, his gold color Chevy Malibu. Um, I'm told that this was a situation of, uh, of uh, mistaken identity and in a love triangle. And this really had nothing to do with Pig's drug dealing activity. Uh, so Pig did his, his sentence for the Operation Motor City Mafia bus. I think he did seven or eight years came out and then got nailed on a state charge out of Ohio for moving heroin um, across the border to Detroit. Uh, went and did another couple of years, came out in 18 and uh, was killed in 20. Then um, back in 16, there was the murder of uh, Slick Rick McFarlane, who was one of the kind of top JV BMF guys, the, the younger guys, you know, most of the BMF guys were in their late 20s, early 30s at the peak. These were guys that were in their early 20s um, and were very close to the OGs. Slick Rick was best friends with uh, Terry Flannery's stepson, Marlon Welch, who was kind of the you know, de facto skipper of all the younger guys. Uh, and then you had a couple murders that took place in 09 uh, in Southfield, Michigan at Arturo's Jazz Club where some of the BMF remnants, guys that hadn't been picked up by the Operation Motor City Mafia bus got into a, a dispute in the VIP lounge, um, ended up killing someone in a fight. And then that guy's best friend was gonna testify um, in a case against these three BMF guys and was killed on the morning of his testimony. They ended up copying manslaughter pleas and they're out by now. So, you know, some violence in the aftermath of a legendary drug group that was known for not violent, or for, for not perpetrating much violence. And Pig, Pig Triplet, I know there's a lot of people still reeling um, from the BMF universe that still miss Pig tremendously, including Terry and uh, Demetrius. Um, 
$2,500 reward right now is being offered by Crime Stoppers. We, we flashed the, uh, the poster before. It's got all the information. Uh, if you want to call in and, and give a tip uh, to possibly help solve Pig's murder. I'll say that, you know, if this is coming from the family and that's all they've got to give, that's very nice. And, and you know, kudos to them for trying to do everything they can from their pocketbook to um, make this, you know, try to find closure and, and get accountability. If it's from the Crime Stoppers, I don't know what their money situation is or whatever. It, it, it seems a little weak that, you know, if you want to incentivize tips to, to lead to lead to solving pig's murder. I don't think $2,500 is going to do it. But again, uh, if it's from the family and that's all they can afford, I'm not, I don't want to throw shade at that. That's uh, in, in, in incredibly commendable. So pig triplet, RIP to pig. Uh, he's been dead now four years. Investigation is open and active, looking for information to try to put it to bed. Some more BMF news coming out of Detroit. I'm going to start trying to provide more Black Mafia family content on here. Um, because they are more than iconic, and I work on the television show. Uh, we got a, another season of the docuseries coming out soon, Blowing Money Fast, and then season four of BMF scripted show will be premiering, uh, I believe, next fall. So OG Pod, Scott Mernstein, I'm out.